Today we're going to change the oil on the 2012 Toyota Sienna minivan. The things you'll need for it are, first you're going to want a replacement oil filter. You can find this on Amazon. This is a OEM part. For this type of vehicle you're going to want some 0W20 synthetic oil. It's optional but I'm going to be wearing knee pads just for comfort because I'm out here on concrete. You're going to want a 14 millimeter ratchet and also this ratchet extender and a handle. This handle is actually a little short, so hopefully it'll be long enough for me to get enough torque. And you're also going to want this special tool. This goes into your uh, socket wrench, and this is for removing the oil cap filter. This is a uh, more expensive one. It's metal, not plastic. It should get the job done and not break on me. Uh, don't try to wing it and not use this tool. You won't have a good time. This cost me 25 bucks. You can buy cheaper ones for $10 or less at AutoZone. It's really how, how much you want to spend on it. And finally, a bucket to store your oil in. Oh, and I shouldn't have neglected this. You also want some rhino ramps or other ramps because you're not going to be able to get your bucket, or yourself for that matter, underneath the vehicle otherwise. And it's not much, but I'm going to throw these bricks under the back tires, just as a precaution. Once you're on the ramps, you want to kind of just make sure it's sturdy on there. It's not going to fall off. Now that it's up here, let's take a look at the areas we're going to be working with. So first, behind this tire, it's probably the easiest angle to get. Alright, the oil is going to come out of this plug right here. There's a bolt that needs to be removed, so I'm going to put the bucket in that area. Alright, now when I get take that off, all the oil should pour right into my bucket. It's going to come out at an angle, because you see the bolt's at an angle. But also make sure that it can drip downwards and all go into your uh, bucket. Otherwise, you're going to have a mess on the ground. Now let's open up the hood. Let's open up the oil cap used in over an hour, but it's still very hot in here, so do be careful. Okay, let's set that there. All right, now using the 14 millimeter ratchet, let's start loosening this bolt. Ah, there we go. Getting it loose is the majority of the battle. Again, make sure your uh, bucket is positioned properly. The oil will probably be warm. All right, it's nice. Now it's loose, you can do it by hand. Once this comes out, it's going to all start pouring out. And you can see I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> there it goes. Dad, what are you doing? So now I'm going to put this nut back in place okay. and tighten that nut good. Do you, want you don't want to over-tighten it. Do you want me to it out? Alright, that should be good. Do you want Let's put the extender on the ratchet handle, and we're going to go look at the oil filter housing now. Alright, so going back underneath here, this is where the oil filter is housed. Put the ratchet, loosen outer cap. Oof, there we are. Let's stick my bucket under here just for safety. Let's give it a few more turns. Be able to get that by hand now. Nothing should be spilling out of here. Well, looks like there's a little bit of dripping. So now, if we look at our oil filter, it comes with a tool. Right here, we're going to stick it in and it's going to drain the oil out. There it goes. I can only get it in. Well, this is supposed to keep things cleaner. <laughs> we look here at the cap, we've got three bumps on the right side, one bump on the left. So it's going to correspond then with this. So we've got the three slits, so it should fit on snugly right in there. And then we're going to use this with the ratchet set. So put the ratchet through the hole, like that. And then this way, we should be able to remove that housing. 
Now that I've loosened it, I can videotape it. Ah. And you can see it's still dripping some oil now from it. Whatever reason that tool wasn't able to get everything out. Woo! Oh, yeah, I was afraid of that. Alright, so this is the old filter. Let's dump out any excess oil from the housing. Alright, now let's remove this large O-ring. You can't see it, it blends in, but it's right here. So I'm... So there's that. That can be discarded with the old filter. <coughs> now I'm going to just clean out the inside of this. Now from the filter set. There's these two new O-rings. I'll take the large one and put it in place. Let's make sure we have some clean oil all around this new O-ring. Make sure it's nice and oily and then put it back on. Okay, let's put the new filter in. Doesn't look like, it looks like it's interchangeable which way is up. Underneath here, we also have a small O-ring, just popped right out. So take that out, clean around there, get this one oiled up, put it back in place. All right, there it is. So now I'm gonna stick this metal plug, I'm gonna call it, back on onto the bottom of the housing. And now we're ready to put this back in the car. Let's start by just hand tightening it in here. Take our tool, finish the job. And I didn't tighten the cap here yet, plug, whatever I'm calling it. I'm gonna tighten this too. All right, and that's it. Now let's put some oil back in this engine. Put in our funnel, make sure it's going in the hole. I saw another video where a guy got it out of the hole accidentally. And using our fresh oil, we're gonna pour it in. Now this engine takes not a full five quarts, it's like 4.4 or 4.7, I can't remember. So be aware of that. As you can see, I'm mostly full. I'm gonna just keep on putting in a little bit more until I'm at the top. And that's it, your oil's changed. Now let's run the engine, and make sure that everything looks as expected. There are no signs of leaks, so everything looks good. Let's reset that engine uh, indicator light now. <laughs> to remove the maintenance required light first, switch to trip A, and then turn the engine off. Press and hold the button, turn the engine on. Now you see it blinking, wait until it counts down. And there we go. Now the check engine light is missing. So now if I turn the engine on completely, now no longer says maintenance required. 